Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America. And the good news just keeps flowing in for former President Donald Trump. And it's coming from around the world. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out and they help our channel continue to grow. So former House Speaker Newt Gingrich just gave an interview where he explained how world events, not just the United States, but world events, are actually leading to a surge for President, former President Donald Trump, and how he believes it's likely that the former president, the 45th president, will become the 47th president of the United States. And if you listen to his reasoning, it makes a lot of sense. Let's take a look. Uh Newt, uh, Trump as Hitler, Trump as Stalin, Trump as whatever dictator comes to mind, that really is their campaign along with the abortion fear-mongering, which they did, they believe, to some excess, success in, um, in the last uh, election a few weeks ago. What do you anticipate happening here on out? Well, I think the only thing I disagree with in your general explanation is that this is about their survival. I think that this is literally the behavior of an entire system which understands that it's on the verge of being destroyed. Uh, they're looking at what happened in Italy. They're looking at what just happened this last week in Argentina. There is a worldwide movement against left-wing radical socialist values. You look at Hungary. I mean, again and again, Average everyday people are saying, no, we don't want this. You look at the numbers for Trump right now, they get bigger and bigger and bigger. And I think what you're seeing on the left is a desperation that's literally a survival function. Uh, we've never seen this, maybe the South in, the 18, in 1860, but other than that, we have never seen this level of desperation in American politics, and it's going to get worse. They have a candidate who's hopeless. I mean, if you watch Joe Biden, you know he's not going to win, and they can't get rid of him. Uh, they have a situation where their opponent is getting stronger and better and more disciplined, and I think that leads to a, a very explosive moment in American history. But, Newt, don't you also see that their drive, this is bloodlust they seem to have with putting Trump in jail. I think they believe that's key well, to their survival, too. It, it, you know, they, they have, to, they have sure. to put him in jail before this election because nothing else is working. The, the Hitler routine isn't working, obviously. Look, People are just laughing at that. Well, and putting him in jail won't work either. But the problem they've got is... <clears throat> it's, and I don't know how it happened. I'm, I'm writing a series for the American Spectator. I, I have to confess, I'm not quite sure how we get to where we are today because it's hard to understand how the modern left somehow went through this permutation, this, this uh, almost mutant behavior, where they're now so radically isolated. They're losing African Americans, they're losing Latinos, in the most recent poll, they're losing young Americans, they're losing Asian Americans. I mean, all the groups they thought they could count on are thinking, these guys are nuts, and they're not going to vote for them. And they know they're nuts because of pain, pain in terms of uh, fentanyl and crime, pain in terms of the price of living, pain in terms of the number of immigrants crossing the border. Every time they turn around, they see an incompetent president who's clearly beyond his, 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 his due date. I mean, a reasonable Democratic Party, if it still existed and it doesn't, would in fact insist that Joe Biden step down. There is no Democratic Party that can do that, and yeah. he's not going to step down. And if he did, they'd get Kamala Harris, because in their party, in their particular universe, you cannot defeat a black woman. Well, Newt, uh, I got to say, I, I've seen desperation before in politics, but what they're saying about about Trump wanting to execute people, he's going to execute his political <laughs> opponents. I mean, I think they've completely, I mean, I hate to say someone's lost his or her mind on another cable network, but I, I don't know how else you describe that.
I mean, that, that's where they are. That's the Democrat. But what happened to hope and change? What happened to all sure. the optimism that the Democrats offered? Look, I, I, last week I was in a meeting with a formerly moderate Republican, very sophisticated, very nice guy, somebody I like personally. And as we talked about Trump, he became so totally demonically convinced that this is the end of his world. I mean, the language, I, I couldn't argue with him because the language was so emotional. It, it was like dealing with a person who was literally beyond self-control. <laughs> and, and I think that's what you're seeing. That's 20 or 30 percent of the country now is in a, in a mood of literally being out of touch with reality. They're very unpleasant. Totally convinced they're right and, and terrified. Yeah, and they're not pleasant people to be sitting around a Thanksgiving table with. So just hide all the sharp implements because they're very <laughs> angry people. Um, they're you know, with the elections in Argentina, Italy and Hungary, plus you see what's going on even in Ireland, you know, with, with the people getting angry at the mass migration. When you see all this happening and you see the poll numbers for Trump, it's not surprising that this is what's happening right now. It's crazy. But Trump is, is about to steamroll Biden, I believe. And I think it's not even going to be close when the, at the end of the day. So I want to know what you guys think about this story. Do you think this is all leading to another Trump term in office? Let me know. Also, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. It really helps us out. I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.